Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Hope you guys are enjoying springtime. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys. For those of you guys returning to my channel, welcome back, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages that we have today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages? What can they expect for this month of April 2022? Sagittarius, okay. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you, my lovelies. All right, first card here is the King of Pentacles. Very focused, very determined for the month of April. Now is the time or the opportunity has finally came where you can primarily focus in your finances and career. Uh, you are definitely being blessed here. And what they're telling you is be more practical, be more grounded in your approach. Anything else that is currently distracting you, refocus. Put your energy, um, put your energy and focus towards the material. Why? Because right now it is um, of great importance to focus and nurture your business career or finances. If you have a moment or a windfall of money, be smart in your investments. Be smart in not overspending. Uh, be smart with your money, basically. What they're telling you here is there is a lot of opportunity for success in any new endeavor that you may take. Um, but make sure that when you decide uh, to take on a new journey or a new endeavor, that you're going to go into it wholeheartedly, meaning that you're not going to stop or get, uh, you know, distracted or anything like that. Right now, anything that has to do with projects, negotiations, anything that has to do, like I said, with career, finances, contracts, everything is going to be coming out to the best of your interest. But only if, if you start or you begin something, uh, you put all the effort and intention to completion, to come to a conclusion or to actually complete the task. Um, so it's about focus. It's about uh, taking on the opportunities that may present themselves to you. Now, your next card here is the Three of Pentacles. So this is uh, people being very receptive towards you. You may find that in the month of April, people start to come to you. People that uh, may have the same... Um, outlook in life or perhaps the same goals, the same uh, achievements that you're trying to make. And uh, what this means is that the universe is currently conspiring to assist you in making whatever new endeavors or new projects you may have, anything that is in connection, in direct connection with your finances, you're being supported here. Uh, this is uh, colleagues, this is uh, co-workers, this is everyone being very receptive to you, listening to you, paying attention to what you have to say, um, and getting the opportunity to really, like I said, put in that hard work. You will definitely be noticed in this month of April. Now, your next card here is the Six of Cups. Um, this is being a little bit more social. This has a lot to do with um, uh, connections, okay? And what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys is, now is the time to really milk or really uh, use uh, the use the opportunity that you're getting um, with networking is what I'm hearing. So this could be like putting yourself out there if you have a business, uh, promoting your business, uh, making it uh, more known, more like I said, putting it out there to friends, to people that you know, um, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, money could directly come to you or you may be assist assisted um in bringing more finances or making or getting more opportunities through group settings so this could be your social circle this could be your colleagues at work this could be networking this could be internet so again very very major potential here and the next card that we have here is the tower card so there is definitely a situation that's going to be turning around majorly for you guys. I feel like for the past four or five months, uh, Sagittarians have been a bit, um, you guys have been a little bit challenged when it comes to stability, 
whether it's love, whether it's romance, whether it's career, whether it's family, whatever it is, um, you're definitely being challenged. But I feel like for this month of April, uh, the opportunities that you've been hoping or praying for are unfolding. Uh, it's almost like the universe is conspiring all around you to help you um, to make your dreams a reality. It is about you taking full advantage of this opportunity. The tower here with the six of cups uh, does speak to me directly in connection with because what I'm hearing is um, you're being assisted right now and everyone that's coming into your life or even those that are going out of your life, it's because it's the best of your interest right now. So do not resist any changes that are happening all around you. Um, you may be hearing some type of news or someone from your past may be contacting you or it may be you who decides to contact them. If there was anything that was left unsaid or undone, there is a revisitation of the situation only because you've elevated yourself or you're being pushed to elevate yourself um, to a much more conscious or much more aware awareness. Um, and this is, uh, like I said, fully to take advantage of. So what comes to mind for you guys for the month of April is take advantage of the opportunities. Do not resist any changes and um, take full advantage. Uh, networking, like I said, uh, putting yourself out there, whether it's through social media, uh, whether it's through flyers, whether it's through business cards, whatever it is, um, that is going to definitely take you to the next level. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.